This video is kindly brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence. Hi, my name's Janelle and welcome back to Rosary Apparel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable ruffled hem slip dress. This dress is super quick and easy to make and it really is just so comfortable to wear and the ruffled hem just adds the nicest little detail and makes this dress just something a little bit special. So without further ado, let's get into it and let me show you how to make this adorable dress. To make this dress, we're going to be pattern hacking my hazel pattern, which I'll have a link to in the description of this video. Start by cutting out both the front and back bodice pieces two sizes smaller than what the pattern suggests for your measurement. Also cut out the pocket template piece. Next, place the bodice front piece onto a sheet of paper approximately two centimeters or three quarters of an inch away from the paper edge. Stick the template in place with some tape so that it looks like this. Next, from the dart point of the bodice front piece, measure a line on an angle, and I'll be sharing the exact measurements I used in just a second, and also measure out where the end of the template will be, approximately 60 centimeters or 23 and a half inches from the very top of the paper sheet. Then measure approximately four centimeters or one and a half inches from the top of the paper, and draw a slightly curved line from the top armhole point to the mark we just made. I'm using a French curve for this part, but if you don't have one of those, you can simply draw the curve by eye or use a plate or a bowl as a guide instead. So here are all the measurements used to create this template so far. Pause the screen here if you need to. Next, do the same for the back, but this time use these measurements instead. The back template will end up being slightly shorter than the front. Next, curve the bottom edges of both template pieces by about two centimeters or three quarters of an inch. And then it's finally time to cut both template pieces out of your fabric, making sure to cut the front template out on the fold, just like the original hazel pattern. Also cut out the four pocket pieces. Next, cut out two or three rectangles, depending on the size you're making, that measure approximately 120 centimeters or 47 and a quarter inches long by 17 centimeters or seven inches wide. For this project, you're also going to need about two meters or two yards of two centimeter or three quarter of an inch wide bias binding. And so I decided to use some leftover fabric to make my own. To make your own bias binding, cut out some strips of your fabric diagonally along the bias and stitch them together by placing the ends of the strips on top of one another like this. Then use a bias binding maker to feed the long strip of fabric through and press the folded edges in place at the same time. Bias binding is very easy to make yourself and definitely worth the little bit of extra effort to have bias binding that matches the fabric you're using perfectly. So all up, you should have the following pieces cut out ready to sew. And before we get started, let's take a moment to talk about the sponsor of this video. This video has been very kindly sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence and launch your passion project. Whether you'd like to start making and selling your own products, create a beautiful portfolio to showcase your work, write a blog, or simply create any website of any kind, you can create your dream website all by yourself with Squarespace. You simply select from their range of beautifully designed templates, and then when you find a template you like, you can then customize it as much or as little as you like, and you can change everything from the overall layout of the website to all the fun things like the fonts and colors with just a few clicks, no background or knowledge needed in coding whatsoever. There are so many reasons why I love Squarespace and my Squarespace website, but something that I've really been noticing recently that they do really well is their search engine optimization, also known as SEO. Every website or online store built with Squarespace has SEO really easily integrated, which helps to maximize the amount your website actually pops up when people are searching yours or your product's niche. I should honestly be looking into ways to optimize my website's SEO more, but luckily, thanks to Squarespace doing all of the hard work for me, my website still ranks really well in Google searches, even though I have put very minimal effort in. So if you'd like to create a website of your own, then head to Squarespace using the link in the description below and take advantage of their free trial so you can test out 
just how easy it is to make a website for yourself. And then when you're ready to launch your beautiful new website, head to squarespace.com slash rosaryapparel for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Start by taking the front template piece and mark out the darts directly onto the back of the fabric using a water erasable pen or some tailor's chalk. I recommend marking out the darts of your usual size. Then fold the fabric so that the dart markings match up and then stitch them in place like this. And your front piece should now look like this. Next, take the pocket pieces and overlock or zigzag stitch along the curved edges to prevent them from fraying. Then place them with right sides together along the sides of the front and back pieces approximately 16cm or 6 and a quarter inches from the underarm point. Then stitch the pockets in place. And overlock or zigzag stitch the raw edges. Next, with right sides together, place the back pieces onto the front piece and pin and stitch them together along the side edges, remembering to stitch around the pockets like this. Now it's time to make the ruffled hem. Take the rectangles we cut out earlier and stitch them together along the sides until you have a long rectangle that measures approximately one and a half times longer than the bottom edge of your dress so far. The longer the rectangle is, the more gathering your ruffle will have. Next, set your sewing machine stitch to the longest possible setting and sew two rows of gathering stitches along one of the longer edges of the rectangle. Then gently pull on the top two threads to gather up the fabric until it's approximately the same length as the bottom edge of your dress. With right sides together, pin and stitch the ruffle to the bottom edge of the dress. which once done should look like this. Now it's time to attach an invisible zip. Pin and stitch the zip to one of the dress back edges with right sides together. Then pin and stitch the other side of the zip to the other side of the dress back. Do the zip up and then stitch the remaining centre back edges of the dress together including the ruffle with right sides together. And the inside of your dress should now look like this. Now it's time to attach the bias binding we made earlier. Fold and press the bias binding in half once more so that the raw edges of the fabric will be tucked onto the inside. Then pin the folded bias binding along the raw curved neckline edge like this. the same for the back but this time make sure to fold the end of the bias binding in by about one centimeter or half an inch and pin this folded end along the zip edge like this. Stitch the 
bias finding in place. Next, cut two lengths of bias binding that measure approximately 65 centimeters or 25 and a half inches and pin them in place along the raw armhole edge starting at the point where the seam is. Then take the other end of the bias binding, being very careful not to accidentally twist it. And again, fold the end in by about one centimeter or half an inch and place it along the seam as well, making sure to cover up the other end of the bias binding so that the raw edges of the fabric have been completely enclosed. Pin the bias binding along the remaining armhole curve and also pin the remaining folded bias binding together to create a strap for the dress. Stitch the loop of bias binding in place. And your dress should now have two straps and all of the raw edges should now be nicely enclosed thanks to the bias binding. Now all that's left to do is hem the entire bottom edge of the ruffle. And your adorable ruffled hem dress is complete. So how does this finished dress look? enjoyed this dress making tutorial and if you do have a go at making this dress for yourself then I would love to see it so make sure you tag me when you share your photos on Instagram at rosary apparel so I can see them and if you did enjoy this video then it would really mean a lot to me if you could give it a like and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more sewing type videos like this one thanks so much for watching until the very end and I'll see you in the next video